become somewhat of a tradition uh, to Washington over the holidays. Senator Rand Paul compiling a list of what he claims are wasteful government projects and line items. Our Alina Shirazi is live in Washington this morning with his Festivus report. Alina, we know that uh, Mr. Paul has said that these are just tax items uh, on the American people where they're spending money and they don't know where it's going. That's right, Nick. Uh, massive government spending, out-of-control deficits are just some of the things that Senator Rand Paul outlines in his Festivus report. We've actually been pouring over it to see sort of what's in it. You can see on the cover here, we've got a Barbie, we have got a lobster, uh, we've got a monkey here. It sort of outlines uh, trying to grab the attention of people and then breaks down into sort of a summary of what he describes as lavish spending by the government. So he also, of course, takes them shots at Dr. Fauci and said some of, his, some of his experiments are extremely costly. So here are some of the standouts where he sort of airs out those grievances. Accepting Barbie doll photos submitted by scammers to get COVID relief funds from a portion of an $800 billion allocation in PPP funds. Other expenses highlighted were $659 billion for national debt interest. $33 million to run Dr. Fauci's state-owned research island of 3,000 monkeys sent out for research, $6 million for boosting Egyptian tourism, $200 million given from the Small Business Administration to what they call struggling musicians like Post Malone, Chris Brown, and Lil Wayne, as well as an unknown cost for the USDA's dog walking research during the summer. So that's just naming a few of these things that we've sort of uh, pulled out of this report. The senator goes on to say that government debt is up to 34 trillion this year. That's up from 30 trillion the year before. The Congressional Budget Office predicts America will add an additional two trillion in debt annually for the next decade. So who is to blame for this level of debt? Well, Senator Rand Paul points the finger to both sides of the aisle, both Republicans and Democrats, for saying that they raised the debt ceiling, and that's something that us taxpayers, he says, are paying for in things like interest rates and inflation. Kelsey?